G'day, it's Bob from Bowen's Garage. I love a good hot hatch. The Hyundai i30N has been the one I recommend to everyone who asks me that question. Which hot hatch should I get? And that's my answer. But what if I was to tell you this? Toyota have now produced the best hot hatch in the world. It's the Toyota Yaris GR. To be a genuine hot hatch, there's a couple of necessities. It's got to be powerful. Well, the Aris, as you can see via the graphics right now, 200 kilowatts, 370 newton meters of torque. It's got a six speed manual, no hint of an automatic in the lineup, and it's got all wheel drive. This thing is an absolute powerhouse. You know, when I found out I was going to be driving the 2021 Toyota Yaris GR, a few people said to me, Yaris? Your series is souped up Yaris? Well, you can look at it that way, but it would be pretty stupid if you did. It's basically a different platform. You've got parts of the Corolla and also Toyota's CHR in terms of the platform. It's a completely different car. For starters, it's got three doors and it's epically quick. The first time I had the opportunity to really let loose on a closed road was about half an hour ago, and I swear to God, <laughs> me, my heart rate is still <laughs> very high. It's just explosive. Now, what makes it such an entertaining drive is the four-wheel drive system. Lots and lots of grip, there's no doubt about it. Inside, I mean, it's a fairly basic interior, there's no doubt about it, but the car really is much more track focused than say a Hyundai i30N, which has always been my, or recently, my hot hatch benchmark. So that's one little compromise if you plan on getting around during the week. It is a little bit firm, but not overly so. There is a rally edition coming out next year, but that will skyrocket, you know, past 54,000. At the moment, Toyota can't keep up with orders on the Yaris GR, and I understand why. It's the most exciting thing to come out of Toyota since probably the Celica. Gazoo Racing, which is like Toyota's HSV or Ford's old FPV, um, have really given this some serious track DNA, there's no doubt about it. And it sounds good. Zero to 105.2 seconds. I have Toyota's infotainment screen here, which is a bit plain, but it's got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which we love. Uh, basic, you know, dash in front of me, nothing special at all. Overall, it's just all about how quick it goes, basically. But in general, you know, you got the little bucket style seats. I've got good lateral support, which is handy when you're throwing yourself into corners doing about 100. As with any hot hatch or sports car, basically, you need drive modes. We have sport, track, and then back to normal. I have never driven a Toyota which provides as much feedback to your fingertips. It is just a absolutely fantastic hot hatch. It's not a lukewarm hatch, it's a full-blown hot hatch. I don't know how many times I can say hot hatch, but it's a hot hatch, all right? Prashant, bring up all the details. There it is. Can't say I'm matching that fuel economy at the moment. In fact, it's 15.4 litres per 100, gee whiz. The three-cylinder up front is the most powerful three-cylinder ever made. That's why I keep saying, it doesn't matter if it's small. Never, ever underestimate small cars like this. So I've had a pretty good time here in Canberra. Basically just, you know, getting the vibe for what Toyota's up to. Things are good for Toyota, aren't they, at the moment? They've got a bit of pizzazz happening. The Supra, now this, I think it's great. 
many of the tech features you'd expect are standard. We've got adaptive cruise control, JBL sound system, but just the one USB port up the front here, just behind the curtain for a sec. At a lot of press launches, they put all sorts of lollies in the car. So, excuse me, but I'm eating a minty. What has happened to minties? They're too hard. It's almost impossible to digest. They're bad. So there you go. I mean, the Yaris GR is a little bit like the actor Joe Pesci. I think that you got the wrong impression about me. If you don't know who Joe Pesci is, where have you been all your life? I think in all fairness, I should explain to you exactly what it is that I do. It may well be small, but it's also a psycho. So you need to be aware of that. I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you. It's the best thing to come out of Toyota, probably for the last two decades. I don't count the Supra. I'm not getting involved in that debate because I don't want you fanatics coming around to my house and throwing rocks and burning things. But in the meantime, I'm Chris Powell from violencegarage.com. Good luck and goodbye.